Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hey Man. I'm Josh. I am Jacob. Hey, man. Hey, man. What's going on? Not much. What's up with you? You guys see you, that I am wearing the same clothes. I was going to say, you look like you're in familiar clothes. Um, we were filming two episodes in one day because we're going to be in Europe. And Jacob remembered to bring an extra shirt. I did. I, I remembered to bring an extra shirt, so it made it look like we weren't doing two in the same day. But look at this guy. Same shirt. Well done. Uh, but anyways, uh, you good? I'm good. We, I mean, we don't have, we, to, we we don't have to pretend like we, we didn't, didn't just talk for an hour and a yep. half. So let's get... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not going to pretend like we didn't just talk yeah, and yeah. do a whole podcast. We could have if I had come through with different set of clothes. Yeah, but let's be honest. You and I wouldn't have been able to get through the fact that we literally just spoke for Probably not. over an hour. Well, this is the email episode. Yeah, I'm in for that. Do these classes look dirty from where you are? No. Oh, yeah, they're, they're pretty dirty. Um, then again, I, I can't really see any light on them because you have the hat on, so I, I, I can't tell if yeah, there's... No. That still didn't help. Okay. So let's get right into the emails. Guys, email is heyman3as, heymanpod at gmail.com, heymanpod at gmail.com. Send in your... Uh, questions, we will answer them. You can ask us anything you want. A lot of these questions end up being about parenting or kids, but people ask some other que relationships. People ask other questions. Um, but we're going to start off right away with our buddy Hunter. Hunter's email is... No, I'm just kidding. I was going to say, I was like, come on, man. I was just going to congratulate you for not first name, last name. Again. Yeah, I just went straight the first name. That was good. Yeah, well done. Hey guys, I'm curious, Josh, how did you propose to Beth and did you ask your kids what their thoughts were before doing it? Jake, is that something you see in your future? Um, all right. By the way, thank you for the encouraging words about my son and looking at it in different ways than him testing my sanity. Yep. That's exactly what it is, dude. It's just good. You got to change the perspective and remember to have some fun. Um, how did I ask Beth? We were at the Bellingham house. That's where I proposed. Did you know that? Wait, what about that picture of you guys on stage doing karaoke? Mm. On stage doing karaoke? Are you thinking of another couple that we know? You oh, did. you mean me on my knee? Yeah. Yeah, that was me getting her another ring. We were already married. She was back from Little Chenier. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got it. I, 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 the ring, I couldn't afford it, the ring that I wanted. Right. So I knew I was going to upgrade. Right. So I proposed, and then uh, when she came back and we did, you know, she did that screening at the silent movie theater in L.A. Right. And so in front of all her friends and everything, I, I got that I proposed again. Mm, okay. But you look at the picture, in that picture, I am carrying a pretty meaningful booty and belly. That was up around my one a 94 for my frame. What what was that, like two thousand? 2000, I don't know. You guys got married in 2004? So? I look at those pictures, I'm like, Yankees. If it was after Little Shanir, that means it was it was after 2007. Yeah, it was after Little Shanir. Yeah, so that means it's probably... Well, the 190 phase was somewhere between 2008 and 2010, I think. Yeah, it wasn't there. great. Um, I'm curious how to... So, this is how I proposed to her. She was writing Little Shanir, which is a movie that she wrote and directed and produced. She was writing Little Shanir, and it was in that back office. Do you remember the Bellingham house at all? No. All but, I remember is there was a jacuzzi. Nope. What house was that? That was a house on the hill. That was the first house That's we moved Lameda? into. That was the first house. So we were living in the luxury apartments. Guys, the luxury apartments was where we all lived in basically one room. Also, just so you guys know, not super luxury. They no. just called it that. They did call it the luxury apartments. We, we called it the luxury apartments out of irony. Yeah. And so, but we all, when I got my first little bit of money, I got a TV deal from a one-man show that I did. I, as soon as that first check came, basically three days later, I was like, we're the fuck out of here. And I had always wanted to live in the hills, the Hollywood Hills. Um, and so I was like, I'm living here for a year. So we went up and it had a giant um, wooden barrel hot tub. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Because is that the same house that we have that picture of me, Kate and Trev and we're all in our snow gear and we're out in front of a house? Yes. That's that house, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Those are the only two memories I have from that house. The Bellingham house was the house where Jack Clayman fell through the avocado tree. Oh, with the tree. avocado tree in the back. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Where you lost the hamster in the backyard. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so I'm curious, Josh, how did you propose? One night, Beth was... And when Beth is working on a project, she is focused as fuck. Right. She's focused, man. I don't even have that type of focus for anything. 
she's focused. And so I, uh, I was, you know, she was writing late one night and I walked into the office and I pretended to drop something by her feet to like, it was bothering her. I was looking, I was looking for it and I was in there. She pushed back from the desk and I knew it was going to bother her. (laughs) She kind of pushed back from the desk. was like, just fucking look. And then when she looked down, I had a ring and I was like, will you marry me? And she was like, do you take that on purpose? (laughs) You didn't and do that on purpose. Yeah, of course I did. Of course I did. I wanted a little comedy in my proposal. And so that is what happened. I did not ask the kids what my thoughts were going to be, or what their thoughts were, because they were so young. And I'm pretty sure we were also already all in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were, all of you were 100% in, but like, but like, you were so young. I didn't need your opinion. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> all right, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, but also yeah. my opinion might not have even been relevant to. You were four years old. What that's, a, that's what, what I'm yeah, saying. What opinion is, you're yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Jacob, do you see proposing to somebody in your future? And have you ever thought about how you were going to do it? Um, I, I do see proposing in my future. Um, I I've thought about how I'm going to do it. I don't think it's going to be a grand gesture, or not. I always say it's a grand gesture because I'm perfo- like proposing, but you know what I mean. It's not going to be like. You know, like where they're on a helicopter ride and you look down on the beach and in the sand is written oh, out, like, well, you marry me kind of shit. Like, yeah, some real deal. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't plan on doing any of that. I think it's going to be just a, a very intimate moment. I'm going to hire a friend to be a uh, photographer who's just kind of hiding in the wind. Uh, I already know who that's going to be. Richard, be ready. Or John Wolf, both of you be ready. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have people planted in like a, but like a secluded spot because uh, from what I know, uh, who I want to propose to does not want it to be in front of people. She wants it to be just us. What about so a, it's what if really, you could find like a like a dog, a talking dog by then? How far ahead do you think <laughs> technology is? And how 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 late do you think I plan on proposing in my know, life? Shouldn't like, they be able to put like a little voice box thing on a dog by now and up. have a human voice come out? This isn't up. Uh, you know what I found out by the way. I, I was checking. I, I I didn't know that your mom and I had bought so many movies on Apple. Yeah, right. We too. have up. Oh, well, I, it's I got also up in my house. It's also on Disney Plus, dog. Oh, why'd you get so excited about that? Yeah, that's right. I don't need to buy movies anymore. They're on. They're everywhere, and even if you don't go see a movie in theaters, a week and a half later, it's gonna be on your television. Yeah, I probably didn't need to be so excited about having up. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> it's not the DVD era where you're like, oh yeah, I own up. I can watch up whenever I want without having to rent it. Yeah, that was no, no, that no. was a really old man moment. Yeah. Not as bad, not as old man as that. Wake GoPro. up, old man. The radios aren't the only form of uh, entertainment anymore. Is that from a movie? No. I oh, just, that's just you saying it to me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, cause you know you guys didn't have color TV when you were a kid? We had color TV. In the forties? Okay. <laughs> okay. First of all, I don't know if they had TV in the 40s, did they? <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, honestly. You should know, though. Why? Because I was around? Yeah, because you're old. Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, Matt, did they have TVs in the 40s? Matt, Matt, they did not have TVs in the 40s. Matt's getting married soon. Oh, fucking congrats. Mazel tov. Um, All right. I love that. Email number two. First name only. Hi, Josh and Jacob. This is from Brandon. Okay. Hope all is well as we both. Um, I have a few questions, so I'll leave it up to you guys which one you can and can't answer. Okay. All right. Serious questions. From one of your episodes a few weeks ago, you talked about fans bringing gifts to shows, and I was curious on your... I'm going to have to... Do you want me to just read it? No! I was. I love when you put your glasses on with the headphones because they're always crooked. I know they're like ones like up and down. It's just. <laughs> um, I asked because I have two small gifts I was planning to bring. Um, no food or anything. They got just two items from my first trip to England with my parents. Oh, okay. One is a funny side, and one is more sentimental. Wait, is he is he going to England? With his parents for fun, but then coming to one of our shows? Is that what that said? He's already got it. Listen, Brandon, we definitely you can bring whatever you want. To the show, we. I think the only thing we talked about was like homemade food. We're probably not going to eat. Yeah. Oh, uh, we. But like you know, we always say we do a free meet and greet after every show. So if you want to wait in that and give it to us, we are more than welcome. Fuck yeah! And, and, and listen, dude, incredibly appreciative that you would think of us and 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 go out of your way to do something like yeah, that. So of absolutely. course, yeah. 
Fun question. At the end of the fight, was Josh able to get up off the ground before the sprinklers went off? No. No, he was not. Weird no, shit, you were not. Weird shit question. On a podcast episode about a year ago, you mentioned when Dave Grohl guest hosted Chelsea and mm. played some pranks. I'm wondering if Josh, if you still have that jacket. It was a t-shirt signed by Dave Grohl, a Foo Fighters t-shirt what that he that rubbed shirt? on his nutsack. While, it, while riding his motorcycle to it, the show. In leather pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I have that. Where is it? Is it it's got to be in like a storage it's unit. It's in storage. You got to frame it. I'm, I'm never going to wash it. Why would you wash it? Yeah, it I smells like D teen spirit. I got DNA, dude. Yeah. No, no, no. You should frame it, though. Like, yeah, you should, you should for sure idea. frame Who knows? It might be a pube on it. It might be fucking oh, worth some money. Oh, and he sent some food recommendations. Okay. For what? For when? For Fort Worth. Oh, I won't be there for that. Taco Cabana all around. Yep. Okay. Well, thank you very much, dude. I appreciate it, Brandon. Um, here are some other questions. Here we go. This is from Mark. Cuban? I don't think so. You know I interviewed him, right? Mark Cuban? Yeah. When? On Shark After Dark. Why? Because he's on Shark Tank? Uh, maybe. I don't know why we got him on the show, but he was on it. The Cubes? On your Shark Week show, the one that I was there for every episode? Yeah. I don't not remember that. I'm not sure. Yeah, he was definitely on there. All right. By the way, when you went to clean your glasses, your glasses did look super dirty. Yeah, this this is so much better. Holy yeah. shit. Why? See, when you said your glasses were dirty earlier, why didn't you just clean them when you said oh, they were dirty? Because I would have had to take them off. And... Yep. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, uh, like when, you're, Dude, when you're not feeling good, your brain works in opposite orders. Like, complete opposite orders. Dude, when I'm not feeling well, anything I don't have to do, I'm not doing Right, but you eventually did have to do it. Yeah, I couldn't see. <laughs> Can't see anyway. So. I was really dodging in between uh, yeah. smudges. Yeah, you were really bobbing yeah, and yeah, weaving. Bobbing and weaving so I could read. <laughs> All right. Ooh, okay, ready for this? Mm -hmm. Okay, Mark. Josh, is Jacob going to be funnier than you? I'm going to tell you this. I hope so. Me too. I hope so. But, but I think as a parent... I want every aspect of my kids' lives to be better than mine was. I want, I want him to be uh, better at things than I am. I, I don't. I can't imagine as a parent wanting to be better than your kids. Like I want whatever I have, whatever I do, whatever I know. I want all of my kids to surpass that. That's the fucking goal. So. I, of course, I want him to be funnier than you, me. He's probably not going to be. Let's be honest. Who know? knows? Uh, but <laughs> I'm kidding. I will tell you this. You're off to a fucking much quicker start than I was, dude. You're, well, you're, yeah, but I had a foot in the door. So that doesn't matter. Well, foot, I, foot in the door doesn't matter. Dude, I was getting on stage. No, but I also mean foot in the door as in I have you who also knows the stories, who also can help me think of certain things. Like, the, the set that I have is is 100% me, but also not. You know what I'm saying? Because you and I dove into those stories and, and worked on tags okay. and punchlines and storylines together. So, but, but we all... We all sat around and with each other and 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 pitched and, right, and did right. all that shit. All I'm saying is that, and again, I'm not I'm not like taking away from the work I've put yeah. in. I'm just saying I do have a little bit of an upper hand because not only do I have somebody who is funny giving me tags, but he knows the stories. Yeah, he knows what happened and he knows what we can add or what we can take out for comedic value. Yeah, that's why. You you know what else, dude? You you already don't have like I can give you notes and you don't get offended why would I get offended I'm six months in yeah 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 if I was 20 years in and you were giving me notes I'd be like yo shut the fuck up like yeah I, but I am 20 years in and you get your six months in and you gave me a tag that worked that's true yeah yeah. I, for me dude it, this ego is where just with almost everything is where you get in trouble and for me best idea wins and if you at six months in have thought of a better punchline than I've got and you give it to me, and I don't use it just out of principle, that's fucking dumb. Yeah. Yeah. That's dumb. Absolutely. But is Jacob going to be funnier than me? I hope so. I really do. I'm, I, I've said it a million times, but you have gotten real good real quick. So I appreciate it. I'm excited to see where it goes. All right. Me too. Here we go. Oh, this is for you. Okay. You ready? Yep. Kevin. Kevin. All kids go through periods when they don't really like their parents. Jacob. What was that time for you, and how did you show it? I, 
I think I, I think it was probably freshman and sophomore year of high school, but it wasn't that I didn't like you guys. I think it was more just like I discovered vagina and yeah. just like discovered what being a high schooler was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I went from public school to Notre Dame, which was like a whole different world yeah. of just a whole uh, new world. exactly whether it was just the schoolwork or just the people I was with. Yeah, like. To see some of the kids that I became friends with get picked up from school in a Bentley was like, where the Crazy, f- where right? am I? Because yeah. like I, we only knew two people in our entire life who we were close to who had cars like that: Chelsea and Leslie Mason. Hmm. Th- those those were the only th- yeah. those are the only real nice Just, cars. You know, most people don't even know. Ow, two people. Who owned a Bentley? Did she ever? Chelsea didn't own a Bentley. Did yeah, she? she did. She had that baby blue one after the Jaguar. Remember? She she let oh, us right, she let us right. fuck around on the Jaguar for yeah, a month. That's right. That's right. But yeah, she had that baby blue. Baby. You know, your mom made a huge dent in that. I had to bring it to a body shop before we returned it to her. In the Jag? Before we returned Chelsea's car, your mom put a huge fucking dingo in there. Where? And then I on had what to, side? I had to tell Chels because I was supposed to bring it back to her. It was like a Monday, and I, and the body shop was like, I'm gonna need a week. And so I had to tell Chell. So I forget what lie I told her about why she wouldn't get back. But I definitely didn't say there's a big, basically a hole in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We fucked it up. Damn. Like, but, but like a day before we were supposed to give it back. It was such a bummer. Do you remember what happened the first night we got that car? No. Do you remember what we did? No. You were like, it was, we had just walked rock. It was one of those weekends where I was at home playing video games. And then you and I walked the dog at like 12 or 1. Do you remember what else? We used to do that. Every yeah, now and yeah, then. yeah, yeah. And then we got back and we walked up the driveway past the Jag and right when I mean, you kind of stopped and but before we walked inside because we had that long ass driveway, remember? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we walked up it and I was like, what? And you looked at me and you go, want to go for a joyride? And I was like, fuck yeah. And you and I, you were just punching like 120 on the 101 into Hollywood back to Encino and back. Like we were gone for 30 minutes, but we drove like 45 miles <laughs> just fucking up and down the 101 going like 120. It was awesome. I can't imagine I was doing 120. You were going fast. Yeah. 120 feels like not something I would do, but I do remember going fast. But also it was empty. Like, yeah, it, but it, I, even I don't 120 like, might've been an exaggeration, yeah. but you were at least at a hundred. Yeah. I, because, uh, I, I, I'm actually scared of, not scared, but it makes me nervous going that fast. And I think to go that fast, being nervous is dangerous. Agreed. So I, I'm not, I, I don't, I don't I'm like not it. scared to go that fast. I don't drive that fast, but I'm definitely not scared. Yeah, I'm not scared, but it makes me nervous. And I don't think you drive well. So nervous. maybe we shouldn't go do Speed Vegas. But yeah, but that's different, dude. Because you're the only car on the track and there's and not other people there's around you. somebody next to me. Correct. Yeah, yes. yeah, I definitely want to do it. Okay. Um, so how did that, how did that uh, show itself? You being... I think it was just me trying to be out of the house as much as possible. I think really my, my, my sophomore... my I think like more sophomore to junior year because my second semester of my junior year, I transferred schools. Yeah. And that was my really... I'm mad at my parents' face. For sure. And I didn't speak to you guys for like a week. Yeah. I or remember that. When I'd you go, say transfer, we just took you out of the school. Uh, correct, correct, correct. I mean, I picked where I got to go, but... Yeah. But yeah, it was like, uh, that was the one time really in life where I was really mad at you guys. And it was, we got up, we went to school and you guys picked me up from school. And then I sat in my room, came out, ate dinner, didn't really say anything, yeah, just I remember. short answers. And then went back in my room. And that was kind of, that was kind of the vibe for that, for that first week yep. of 2014. But I, there was never really a phase where a phase where I didn't like my parents. There were phases where I found my parents annoying. Where I was like, I was like, they want to hang out, or like, they were like, you should hang out with your family. I'm like, I'm 15 or 16. I want to hang out with my friends. Yeah. But that was also, I think, you know, at a certain point in each parent's life, they see their kids start to drift and want to make sure they don't drift too far from shore. But then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, and so yeah. that was just that kind of point in time. But there was never really a main point in time where I was like, oh, I fucking hate you guys. Like that was never, that was never our mo. No, yeah, I have to say, I feel like we got lucky with. All of the kids, um, Caitlin and Trevor too. And if you guys did go through periods, you were never like I saw teenagers outwardly rude to their parents. You guys were I, never I, that. I, I I saw friends used to tell their parents to shut the fuck up. Yeah, and you I'm guys like, were never. I'm like, that. I'm like dude, what, what's wrong? He's like, ah, it's nothing. I'm like, you're fucking insane. Like, I, I, that would not have flown at our house. No, sir. No. But also. 
I wonder what flew at those kind of houses to even get to that point. Yeah, like, it's kind of crazy. Like that, like that. Where if if your kid is telling you to shut the fuck up, that means you've never said no to that I, kid. I I I was with somebody when their kid was like shut shut the fuck up and then said their first name, and I turned to her and I was like, you know, I'm not gonna question how you parent. But I'm definitely going to question it's, why there was no up, repercussions. It's up to you. And I turned to her. I was like, wow. I was like, is it you okay? And she was like, yeah, I, you know, I let him express himself. I'm like, he could do that through art. Yeah. He doesn't, but have, also to, he doesn't have to it, fucking call you by your first name and tell you to fuck off. Brenda. Like, oh, fucking. Dude, what a great name to say. <laughs> fuck you, Brenda. <laughs> That's one of the best. It's Brenda, Karen. I think Brenda's the best one. Brenda's Susan's definitely good. good. Susan's good. Fuck you, Susan. <laughs> It's funny because I've had a Susan that I worked for. I was like, Susan, shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. You know what guy name I love that just makes me laugh? Like yelling that name? Kevin. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, Kevin. Shut the fuck up, Kevin. Like Kevin's a good one. Kevin's a good one. Kevin makes me laugh. I don't know why. Yeah, but, but you know what seems to work well is we're names that have a hard, begin hard, hard sound at the beginning and end. Karen. But Brenda doesn't. No, Brenda doesn't. Brenda's got that hard in the Susan middle. Susan doesn't. Brenda and Susan don't. Both yeah. don't. But yeah, yeah. What about Larry? Fuck you, Larry. <laughs> Larry's good one. Yeah. Kevin's my favorite, though. Yeah, fuck you, Kevin. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's good. Okay, here we go. All right. You should just leave the grass. The glass is crooked. It fits the MO it, of the... Is, are of, they crooked? Oh, they're fucking crooked. No, they're not that bad right now, actually. All right, ready for this? Yep. Laura. I know you all like mini cows. Yes, Laura. But if you, and by the way, guys, the mini cow clip has reached more people. <laughs> I am getting, I told you, I am getting Oops, more sorry. messages from people about the mini cow clip. It's fucking bananas. Woo, mini cow train. And most people are like, you know, those are just baby cows. They're not mini. No, but there's are, also a mini cow. Yes, but also you, most of the mini cows have some sort of growth defect. Yeah. Or you could get a cow with Down syndrome. It doesn't mean it has mini cow. No, but they're 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 smaller or dwarfism. That's what I meant. Yeah, two different things. Sorry about that. That was politically incorrect. <laughs> it was not politically correct. You don't have to apologize for everything. Or like, ignorant? One of those. No, dude, you doing. just misspoke. Dumb. Yeah, that dude. one. <laughs> you misspoke, but like, yeah. They both started with a D. My fault. Yeah, dude. And by the way. Well, whatever. <laughs> I didn't know what you were going to say anyways. Do cows get Down syndrome? Probably. I've seen like a, I've seen a cat with Down syndrome. A cat? Yeah. There are animals with the syndrome. Google, Google. Google. Are there? Google. Do pets get Down syndrome? Do uh, animals get Down syndrome? I don't, I can't remember. I was about to say I can't remember seeing one, but I don't know if they look different. Do you know what I mean? And how would you know if your cow had Down syndrome? Technically, dogs and pets, or te this says dogs. Technically, dogs cannot get or have Down syndrome. However, they can have conditions that present similarly. Dogs may also inherit other genetic disorders or chromosome abnorm abnormalities, but research does not indicate that dogs can have Down syndrome as people can. What about other animals? Do animals get Down syndrome? While some wild animals can suffer from so similar cr chromosomal defects, they cannot have Down syndrome as it is specific to humans. There have been several cases where animals have similar symptoms to Down syndrome and people mistakenly assume it's the cause. Do me a favor now. Now Google animal Down syndrome images. Animal Down. I wonder if the if it, if the animals that are affected with whatever they're affected by look different? Yes. Look different. They do. They do? Yeah. This is a, this is a tiger with that Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. <laughs> what? Let me see that. Honestly, first of all, that looks like a tiger from Harry Potter. It kind of looks like Goy. Relax. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> no, well, that's an inside joke for me. Find me another. Find me another one. The same this one is, or? by the way, this is an orangutan. Animals with Down syndrome is not a rabbit hole. I thought we were going down on this podcast. This is an orangutan. Just looks like an orangutan. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Albino gorilla? Okay. But that the albino gorilla doesn't mean Down syndrome, does it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> that, but that, that, this is fascinating to me. It's fascinating. <laughs> Look at these giraffes. Come on. 
<laughs> the one with his tongue out. Get the fuck Poor out of here. buddy. Let me see this that. This is fucking awesome. Oh, boy. It's pretty great. By the way, that's a long-ass tongue, man. Dude, giraffes have super long tongues. You don't know that? Yeah, I think I do. Have think you ever fed a giraffe? Yeah, at the, at the LA Zoo. Um... Okay. Yo, dude, by what the way. What about this? Well, hold, hold, we on, talked hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. There's a lion. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that picture again. <laughs> I was going to show. Let me see that picture. He can join it on the fun. That, that photo is crazy. Yo, this looks <laughs> straight up like a crackhead. This looks like I feel like we should put that on a t-shirt and this be like, looks be like, like I, crackhead lion. I, I want to I want to put it on a t-shirt and the caption is gonna say, This is how fucked up I want to be tonight. Dude, this <laughs> looks like four day bender. Somebody just asked me, Hey, you wanna hit that? You wanna hit that again? And I'm like, yo, dude, this will you send that to me? Yeah, I'll send it to you. It's pretty funny. You're gonna I I'm I'm guessing the Instagram post that's coming today from my dad, and it's gonna be this picture. No, no, I'm not gonna post it. Oh, that's you're gonna post it and be like, I found out today that animals. Yeah, that one's pretty like the eyes far apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's All a good right. one. Well, there you go, guys. I don't know what question at oh mini cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So if you <laughs> it, it, I know you all like mini cows, but if you could have one dream pet. What would it be? Dream pet? Mm -hmm. Anything. I'm not going to lie to you. Mini cow is on my list now. Oh, mini cow's been up on my list. Yeah. I don't know. A dream pet? Like any pet in the world. Any pet. Any animal. Any, a, a, and we're just going to say you don't get killed by this animal. Oh, a fucking tiger then. Oh, no. Yeah. I want, like, the, if I could cuddle, like, a, a half ton cat yeah or or a wolf or just like a again a big gray wolf i guess stray monkey yeah that I, that seems fun by the way it has oh, been, dude, you, I, would, I would go buy the monkey some clothes and a hat dude would dress i've the seen same. so many since we started talking about getting a pet monkey i've seen so many people on tiktok with pet baby monkeys yo dude i, I would i would love to and now i can't decide if i want to have but i want you to know they a can't, chimp or a monkey they can't do anything without you so they will just sit there and bug you their entire day like they can't be alone i want you to know that what do you mean they can't be alone? They're alone in their cages. What? Oh, oh, you, you're you expecting to keep the chimp in a cage the entire time you have him? No, sometimes. Okay. Just like Indiana Jones goes in his kennel. Okay. Pretty sure the chimp is stronger than Indiana Jones, though. Probably break out of that cage of Indiana well, Jones. Well, I'm not going to put him in a dog crate. Well, no, but like what crate? You mean cage or enclosure? Enclosure. Okay, that's different. A cage... Indicates like you want no, just like an little you know what I mean? enclosure, like you yeah. want it like in his own little thing. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, you swing around on his on his tire swing, and he can fling poo at people. <laughs> you would love that, oh, dude. If people came <laughs> over and he flung poo at him, that's what I would train him to do first. Well, uh, what would your command be? Fling poo. Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> just straight fling poo. Oh, dude, I would, and I would name a monkey. I'd go monkey fling poo. <laughs> You are a barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> like a straight Neanderthal. Dude, like monkey fling is... poo. <laughs> monkey fling poo would be amazing. <laughs> you are a straight Neanderthal. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, I would love it. I would have oh guests come God. over and, and I would just whisper, monkey fling poo. No, I feel like you have a fucking bullhorn. <laughs> I don't think you'd whisper it. I think you'd I go would do full it different ways. I think you'd go full mega horn. I'd be like, monkey! Fling poo! I would do it different. I would monkey fling poo is my favorite, oh, but stop. But That's I think so stupid. It's <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. What would you? So you would go tiger? Oh yeah, I'm going big animal. Like I'm going like something that looks like it would be super fun to cuddle with. Yeah, but 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 what if the tiger makes you little bitch? That's fine. The tiger is a half ton animal. Maybe not, but you know what I mean. It's it's. A I little, bet you they're a half ton at least. The big ones probably. If a yeah. cow is eight hundred pounds, thousand pounds. A cow is a thousand to eighteen hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Then the tiger's got to be. I think the tiger's anywhere between a six to a thousand pounds. I'm going to give you a two hundred pound leeway. How much in male? Right. Male. How Full much tiger? I'm I'm going anywhere between. A, well, I'm going between seven and nine hundred pounds. I say between nine hundred and twelve hundred. Well, we say two hundred, two hundred, nine hundred, eleven hundred. I'm going seven and nine. Yeah, you might be right. 
How much does a full grown tiger weigh? Between three hundred fifty and five hundred pounds. You say fifty five hundred pounds or five hundred and fifty and five hundred pounds. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's way off. Smaller than I imagine. That's smaller than the baby cow. That's four hundred pounds. The mini cow. Yeah, who wins that fight? Tiger, baby cow, baby cow. I'm what? just kidding. Tiger. All right. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm going. I'm going something big though. Like, what's the name of your tiger? El Tigre. No, it's a. Uh, Shere Khan. Oh, good one. Okay. Duh. Last question. Or like one of those weird Russian guys with a big bear. Name him. Dude, Bullock. I love Russian Instagram where they just have... They're like, just like sparring with a bear in the middle of the forest dude, while dude, they're snowing and they're shirtless. It's have you the seen craziest. the person with the leopard as a pet? Yeah. Have you seen that random woman who accidentally raised a puma? Yes, dude. Yeah. I love her page. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. She it's her acts- puma and her Rottweiler are just like... Buddies. Gang members. I love it. Dude, the, the, having a puma walk around the house, dude. Yo, that, like, I also will say, like, those animals are some of the prettiest animals on this planet. Like, that just shiny, sheer black coat. And there's just no, there's no discolorations. It's just straight. Are you, are you shadow. fucking crazy yes, fucking living cool. with a fucking puma? Well, she saved its life. Yeah. Did you, have you seen the video of the day she rescued it? No. Oh, dude, it's literally, it's a dying baby puma. It, like, it's just been born, hasn't even opened its eyes yet. And she picked it up and saved it and brought it in. Why? What, how, how did she find the puma? She was, I don't even know. She, she, she was outside. I don't know where she lives, but she was outside somewhere. Apparently where pumas roam. Um, but so, yeah, she brought it in, raised it, thought it was just a cat, turned into a puma. Yeah, but, but, when you as, raise, but when you raise an animal from that young, when it opens its eyes, if you're the first thing it sees, you're its mom. That's how that works. I think there is wild animal instinct that you can't teach out. I would agree with that. But again, also, like, again, like, if if I, like, like you know, I mean, I'll just fucking jungle book this bitch. If from my, my youngest memory, if I wake up and I'm being raised by a pack of wolves, even though I'm a human, I'm going to react like that pack of wolves. Yes, I'm going to have a different thought process because as the human, the only thing that makes us different from animals is free will and be able to make those kind of choices. However, if you're raised in a certain sort of way, it's it's muscle memory. Like, I understand that the wild animal instinct never goes away, but like... I'm with you on that, except I think first generation, while that's why it takes a while to domesticate an animal because I think to take the instincts out of them takes a lot. But if you also raise that animal not in the wild, does it have wild animal instincts? Yes. Does it? Yes. I, I don't know for sure, but yes. But I, I'm not talking about like, because like in, in a captivity, like in a zoo, like if you raise an animal around those other animals, it's going to have those same instincts. But if you're raising that animal in a human captivity with no other animals like it around, how is it going to grow up and react? Like its surroundings. So... Uh, I think a bear would grow up and maul you. I think if you raised a bear, you had a bear cub, and right, it opens his eyes and sees you, and then it gets raised, it's going to kill you. Have you ever seen that video of that dude who saved that bear cub out of a forest fire and it wouldn't leave its side? This this dude. Uh, but but uh, And the guy took care of the bear into a full-grown bear? No, the bear literally climbed up his leg like it was his mother and was like, I'm help saying, me. I'm saying. Oh, no, he didn't raise the bear. Okay, this is what I'm saying, dude. The, uh, right, right. But again, you're still like I'm I'm pitching a point of if it's raised from mm. opening eyes somebody, in captivity. Somebody smarter than us, hit us up. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel like the animal instincts are gone, but I feel like they're definitely more suppressed. Last question. Okay. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. How long did, what? we've only been on for about thirty five minutes. Oh, this is the last question. Yeah, I mean this it's a, it's an email one. It could be shorter than the other ones. I think it's fine. Okay. Don't you? I mean, like, yeah, that's fine. We could go more into the animal captivity thing if you want. No, 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 we're good. We'll, we'll see what happens. Well, Steve Irwin, this shit. Crikey. <laughs> All right. As parents, and I, I love this. This, this is from Millie? Millie 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 Millie, 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 Millie. Sorry, we had a, <laughs> we adopted a dog named Millie for about two and a half days, and then she tried to bite our dog that we already had, so we had to give her away. As parents, we all pretend to like things so we can spend time with our kids. Josh, what did you hate that you pretended to like? And Jacob, was there anything you ever pretended to like around your parents? No, nah, I'm pretty sure I told my dad whenever I liked or didn't like something that whatever we were doing. But also, even if I didn't say anything, he's pretty good at being able to tell whether I like something or not that we're yes. doing. So I didn't have to say anything. 
Did you? But uh, can you think of something I pretended to like? The bass, the stand up bass. Oh no no no! I love that. Well, we mainly thought it was funny. That's why I love it. You, Jacob brought. Jacob decided he was going to play the stand up bass when I was in sixth grade, and uh, the first day I brought it home, my parents didn't know that I was allowed to bring my instrument home. And so I walked home as a sixth grader with a stand-up bass strapped to my back. Oh, dude, it was so much bigger than him. It was so funny. Yeah. Do you remember me walking in, walking oh, up the driveway and you were God, like, what? So funny. So f- you were like, what is happening? Oh, I was like, I brought my bass home for the weekend. I loved it. And watching you practice was amazing. You were terrible. Awful. Yeah. I thought I knew how to play Seven Nation Army at the start. I know you did. It was I amazing. Kind of did. Yeah. Not really. It was pretty great. Your yeah. mom and I loved it. I have a couple of pictures from that time that I just one of my favorite one of my favorite photos of us is me looking down trying to play and it's you looking at the camera like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. That one. <laughs> and you're he, you're like, are we sure about this one? Yeah, I, I can tell you right now what it is. I'm trying to think. And I watched and listened to me the music and what, but fucking Pokemon. Oh yeah. Oh my fucking god. Now guys, I was when. Jacob's older brother was a kid. This is when Pokemon first. So I've been in it since Jump. Since since the actual since beginning. Since fucking Jump, I've yeah. been in this. Yeah. And I thought it was the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. In those movies and the shows and that fucking CD with all the music from the movies that I, I had to listen be to. The very best. Oh my god! I. Uh, it's hard for me to explain how much I dislike it. But I wish we still had those Pokemon cards. We'd be fucking rich. Yeah. All my God kids damn it. loved it. And yeah. they loved listening to the CD and they loved watching the show and they loved going to the movies and I wanted to hang out with them. So I, I traded cards and did the whole fucking thing and pretended to be Charizard when we played Pokemon in the backyard right. and listened to all the CDs in the, in the car. Yo. Yeah. But it was the single worst, like, you know, kids go through periods of like, that's that's all they do. Yeah. Like we went through a Lion King period, which was great. I liked that one. We Pokemon, did that period lasted a good minute. Oh my God. It was a good worst. minute. Pro- like through middle school for me, good minute. How much do you think we could have uh, got Dude, for those cards? I'm thinking of the binder that I had at home, that blue binder that had the Pokemon logo yeah. on the front. Yep. Remember that one? Yep. Yeah. I had... Dude, that binder was thick. Yeah. And I had repeats of cards and repeats of cards, but I'm almost positive I had all 152 original Pokemon cards, trainer cards. No, uh, we, we as a as a group, as me, you, Kate, and Trevor, we did have every card. Well, we'd be millionaires. Really? An OG set of the 1999 release. Pokemon cards, yeah. starter deck, we'd have so much money. Yeah, we did have uh, between- because we also just had re- like we just had duplicates. So oh, not only would that old one set sell crazy by itself, but all the duplicates in and of itself are worth all at least fifty dollars. Oh yeah, we we had so many cards. They're, they were all in sleeves. because they I had all- just oh, come into God. some money. This was when I got my first deal, and we were we dude. This is what happened when I first got when I first got that first check. Because guys, you gotta remember, I was we were living in one room together. And so yeah. and we had done like I had done basically before this one man show, times were real tight. And I was down to like one meal a day. You guys were eating three, but I was down to like one. And but it was like lunch and dinner was basically the same thing. I would make a big pot of rice and something, and you guys would right, or mac and cheese or something. For the first six months after we got that first check, we didn't eat a meal in the house. Not a breakfast, not a lunch, not a dinner. Nice. We didn't eat every morning. I was like, where are we going to breakfast? Every lunch, every dinner. I was like, fuck. The food in the fridge was drinks and snacks. That was it. Maybe a couple frozen pizzas. I wasn't even going to be tempted to make anything. I was so... That was like... I didn't really buy anything crazy. I got a minivan. Yeah, but that's that's Yeah, but, but that was just for... yeah. I didn't really buy anything crazy. I didn't go and get a bunch of clothes or shoes. I mean, be, I think it'd be different now. For you guys, I got, you guys had a bunch of clothes. I got you a bunch of clothes, a bunch of shoes. Um, but I, it wasn't important to me, but I was like, I'm not cooking a fucking meal until I feel like it. Sounds great. 
It was now, amazing. And now you cook a meal. You cook multiple meals every single day. Well, I actually like cooking now. Yeah. But also, man, you know, uh, I, I, it was such a, yeah. It was, we went from <sighs> such create, like having to create meals. Yeah. You know, ramen with pasta sauce or it was, you ate it. I ate it. It doesn't sound good, but we I did. Ate it. We toasted bread and I would melt, would put butter on there, syrup and powdered sugar. And that was a dessert. Like a French toast? Yeah. Except I didn't, I just toasted it. Toast? You know? Yeah. Toast. Yeah. Butter toast? Yeah. Yeah. Butter <laughs> toast with some sugar and syrup. That was delicious. Sounds great. But yeah, we did a lot of just. We never, we did the peanut butter and jelly and like the Nutella and fluff, but we never did the peanut butter, jelly and syrup sandwiches, did we? No. Yeah. We did peanut butter, honey, and and fluff, peanut butter and honey. Yeah. It was all good stuff. Too. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, we are in Europe right now. Oh, when this comes out? Yeah. Sick. So if if you're in Europe and you're hearing this, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates and tickets. I don't know what week this will be out. This, oh, this will be the this will be the week we're in the UK. I'm gonna tell you right now when this is coming out. This is I gonna think. be out on October. Oh, no, 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 no. October 18th. So I'll be in oh. Paris. You'll still be here. Oh, and guess what? That is the day before his birthday. So I think hopefully we'll, because we're not sure, we're jumping on the, the day before your birthday. So happy birthday for when everybody hears this or sees this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Well, my birthday is October 19th. I'm going to be in Paris on my fucking birthday, dude. It's dope. Super dope. You know, you're have, you, have you ever been out of the country yeah. for your birthday? No. I'll tell you something. You've been out of the state because you 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 tour. You're usually gone on your birthday yeah. for touring. I, I've never been to Paris, and your mom and I have never taken a vacation like this together. No. Ever. Ever, ever. We've gone on vacation, but we've never done one of these out of the country. Yeah. Like the only thing I can think of is like you've done vacations, but the big ones out of the country, like the last one I can think of is like Chelsea and like the Bahamas and stuff like that. Yeah, we did that, but that wasn't just she and I. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I was like, yeah, you guys haven't done one, just the two of you. Paris is a big city to cover in five days. Have you been to Paris? I've been to Paris once, yeah. How long were you there? Two days. Not even. I was where the, I was there. We got there uh, during the morning. Um, we stayed for the night and then we left the next day. What you know, it? we were going to do like but South it. of France and all that stuff. I, I want to do, I want to do, uh, there's a place in the South of France that I want to go so bad. I can't remember what it's called. Is Cannes in the, in the South? I think Cannes. I think I, I, I want to go to Marseille. I want to do Monaco. Show my pal, Josh. <laughs> how's that? How's the French going? I forgot about it until right now. <laughs> I can't believe we, we talked about it like a week and a half ago while we were on the road. You were doing it in the hotel. Jean Mapel, Josh. You're going to be, I swear, it's going to be just Joey from Friends reading. Uh, that's all I'm going to say is Jean Mapel, Josh. I can't wait. I, I want to learn how to say, may I have more and then something. So I want to learn how to say that. If I were you, I would just Google all the French words for food. But by the way, I can't I just do my Google Translate, say it in English, and then show it to him? 100%. Oh, that's what I'll do. But also, I'm not going to lie, most of the servers you're going to run into in France speak English. Oh, for real? We? For real. We? Yes. We? Yes. We? Yes. We? No. <laughs> yeah. No, like in most of the cafes and most of the diners, because they know that it's such a big yeah. tourism spot for English speakers, most of those spots in other countries are going to speak English. You know, this is, it's going to be an interesting trip for me too, because the following two weeks is heavy travel. Yeah, dude. Heavy travel. Enjoy sleeping in the same bed for five nights. But like, I'm going to be stuck. I, I, I'm really, I don't want to be in the hotel in, in Paris, but I'm also, it's my own, dude, if you, you know what, I've been touring every week since August. Yeah. I've had, I've had two, 5th. I've had two of those weekends off. So I've been touring every week since August 5th. Yeah. I, and so I'll have, this will be my first week off. And then we do two weeks of basic travel every day. Pretty so much. So this except, week. That well, except when we get to London, we have a day off in London. We actually, we actually have two full days off in London. Yeah. We have a full day off. We have a day off. Then we perform that night. We leave the next day. So here's what I'm going to do. This is what I would tell you. I'm going to sleep in, spend all day out. I'll sleep in. I won't be smoking weed in Paris. Nope. So I'll, I will either get really good sleep or really bad sleep. Melatonin. Bring it all again. Man, 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 man. Load up on the melatonin. We're gonna need it. Yeah, you're right. We'll have we'll have some goodies in London and Amsterdam for sure. In Amsterdam, are you crazy? And anybody in Stockholm or Oslo that wants to provide, yo, dude, this must. It's the best my mustache has ever looked. 
I, look, dude, I really just want to shape it up. Please let me. What just, do you mean, shape it up? I want to take the hairs off of your upper lip. Yeah, God damn it! I'll do that. Like, like I, you know, the race. Like, dude, I, I did this shape up yesterday in ten minutes. Look at this. Look at me. Yeah, but dude, you have seven hairs on your face. But I could shape you up, is what I'm saying. It's like yeah, I just have I, to take the razor and just—it's just cleaning the edges. I yeah, just no, have to I'm, like, gonna, I'm gonna zit zit on the lip before tonight. Before yeah, I, I get I get really scraggly, like long hairs on my neck. Yeah, me too. But that's it. I get some the grazies down here a lot. You get grazies everywhere, these. That's true. I get Except gra- the handlebars. No, I have no grazies in my mustache. Isn't it how, weird? How awesome would it be if me and just, fucking Christopher Walken? Dark mustache, guys. I hope for the rest of your life you have a mustache that it that it's, doesn't go gray. Me too. Because it would be great if everything went gray except the mustache Fuck yeah. and you just sat there with just like a, yeah, what about it? Huh? I actually am less concerned about my face and my hair and more concerned about like my arms and my pubes and my legs. Gray leg hair feels real depressing. Gray pubes feels depressing. I don't know why gray leg hair feels more depressing. You don't ever see your legs. You're wearing pants all the time. What are you talking about? Yeah, I think gray, gray chest hair, gray leg hair, gray Don't you already have gray hair. chest hair? I have a great chest hair that I pull and it keeps growing back. <laughs> it's happening. It is rough. Sauce. Winter is coming. Yeah, dude, on my <laughs> chest. That sounds great. <laughs> sounds like we're at a gay strip club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <all right. laughs> Listen, anything else you want to say? No, that's it for me, man. I'm super excited. We're, we've got some cool things coming up in the, in the very near future. Yeah, guys, we're in, we'll be in Europe when you're listening to this. Uh, hey, man, pod. Actually, no, we won't be in Europe. I will be. He'll be in Europe, but not for the tour. He'll be in Europe enjoying his life. Uh, uh, but guys, remember to email us in any questions you got. Hey, man, pod three A's at gmail.com. Spread the word on this. The, the pods have been, I'm assuming by now, still growing every week. We're, yep. we're getting more viewers and more listeners every week. That's all we can ask for. Yep. Also, if you want to, and I know people have been curious, and I forgot to mention this last time, but if you want to see my sets where I'm on mushrooms, uh, I post them on a site called punchup.live slash Josh. What's that? Underscore? Dash. Is it da- a, da- it's dash? a dash? Yeah. Wolf. So punchup.live forward slash f- slash Josh. Dash. Dash Wolf. And all the sets are on there for free, guys. It's all free stuff. Is it a hyphen? Hyphen. Is that what it's called, technically? A hyphen? Right? Hyphen. Got him. Nailed it. Nailed it. All right, everybody. You got English else? major over here. Not English major. Tell me. T- give everybody the rundown. Uh, ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates and tickets. We already did that. Uh, Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms for him. YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, don't really use Twitter anymore. Um, and then for me, it's Jake Wolf on TikTok, uh, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram, twitch.tv slash youthful wolf. Um, hoping to get back to streaming soon, probably, hopefully a little before the UK and Europe, but definitely after when I get back. Um, and that's all we got. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you guys so much always for tuning in and coming to listen to two weird white dudes ramble about life. ComedianJoshWolf.com. When we get back, guys, our dates are... Uh, we're we're in uh, D.C. November 11th. I th- 11th, I think. It, as of right now, it's New York and D.C. Oh, okay. 10th and 11th. Um, and then the following weekend, we're off. Oh, thank Jesus. Yeah, dude. Gonna need some sleep. And then Thanksgiving... And then we hit it hard in December where we get St. Louis and so it's good. The two middle Kansas weeks. City. We have the two middle weeks off in November. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Nashville for a wedding. Whose wedding? I can't say, tell you the truth. I can tell you off the air. Oh, I think I know who it's gonna be then. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um and uh yeah, man, come out and see us. The shows are amazing. Jacob's amazing. Uh, yeah, and look, I'm gonna say there's a lot of dates. Uh this November, December is known for like for you. These are the cities like that you always tell me like it's a bummer you missed this one. Yeah. So I'm very excited to see what St. Louis has in store. I'm pretty Kansas sure we're hitting City. Kansas City, Spokane, right? I always miss that Spokane no show. No Spokane, but we are doing Phoenix on New Year's. Were you not doing Spokane in December? No, uh, we're going to St. Louis. Okay. I think that's like the 16th or something like that. Mm-hmm. Something like that in the middle. Mm-hmm. We're, we're doing uh, Mohegan Sun. Oh, Connecticut. That's right. We're going to get uh, Rich, his parents, some tickets. Yeah. He was like, get my mom out of the house. I was like, I'll get your mom out of the house. Deal. It's fine. Um, but that's it, y'all. We appreciate you guys always for coming and listening to us. Um, and again, 
He's wearing the same shirt he was wearing the last podcast. Love you guys. Tell him, tell somebody you love him. Not today. the last podcast, two podcasts ago. Well, it was the last podcast for us. Huh? We just filmed it. Oh, yeah. He's right. Tell somebody you love him today. Do something nice for somebody. Later. We'll talk to you.